Hello everyone. Welcome to a how-to video. Today I'm going to look at how I edit my videos before I put them up on YouTube. I've been seeing some questions about this and actually got a, a question from a friend of mine who is trying to find a better editing system than he's using now, which is Windows Movie Maker, and I remember having the exact same problem. When I first got started, I wasn't sure that this was going to be something that I would do for very long, so I picked a couple of very, uh, well, a couple of free systems that would allow me to both record in high enough quality and then edit at a, with, at a style and level of detail that I was comfortable with. What I found was, of course, OBS for recording and VSDC by Flash Integro for editing. And today I'm going to really focus on Flash Integro and VSDC, but before we get started there, I do want to make a quick note about OBS. And for that, we're going to switch over to OBS. Now, I cannot explain to you OBS as well as has already been explained to me by Avidia Zen. If you are trying to use OBS, go and visit Avidia Zen's channel and find his OBS video tutorial. He will explain to you all of the settings, all of the changes you need to make. It's for an older version of OBS, but it still works 100%. What we're looking at right now is OBS Studio, which is the version that they are currently updating and working on now. You can still get the older version, but I highly recommend switching to this version as soon as you can. I have put a link on the screen somewhere to Avidia Zen's channel and specifically his video tutorial. With that, let me show you the quick note that I want to make that he doesn't mention. Because his video on OBS was from an older one, from an older version of OBS, the older version did not have the option to split your audio. So I'm going to show you how to do that because it's very important to the method I'm going to show you for editing. So we go into the Output tab. You start off, obviously, in General. S click on Output. Click on Recording. If you're streaming, you can do very similar things, but specifically, Recording. And then, pick your Recording Path. I've got it going into my Videos and then OBS. Recording Format. And obviously, you can't see this very well because I am recording and it won't allow me to change it while I'm recording. However, Recording Format MP4. Now. I picked MP4 because of this warning down here. Certain formats, such as FLV, do not support multiple tracks per recording. I need the multi-track, and I'll explain why in just a second, which is why I've picked MP4 as the output format for my videos. Then I've selected audio track 1 and 2, which will be recorded and layered into the MP4 video. And then a couple of other things here, which, which I will allow a video to explain. So, we come back out to the main page here. And you can see my desktop audio, because nothing is playing in the background. Well, at least on this computer. I'll probably have some music in the video. But because nothing is playing right now, there's no desktop audio and this isn't moving. However, because I'm talking, my mic is... The reason I have it set up this way, the, the dual audio layers, is because OBS records my mic volume at a very low level, which is why I've actually had to go in and add about 14 decibels of gain. Uh, so the output is quality and loud enough for me to really do the fine tuning that I need to do at a later date in VSDC. Speaking of, we'll move back over to VSDC now. Now, I will not make any claims that VSDC is the most powerful video editor that you have access to. I'm not even going to say that it is the best free version. I'll just say that I have not found a more powerful free video editor, and I have looked. So, we are going to go step by step today on how to start the project in VSTC. Here's how we go. We're going to start a new project on a video that I recorded 
last night with a friend of mine, Mr. Puffer, who also goes by Rover, and we're going to use Rover's name here. So, project title Sky Wars with Rover. Now, resolution. I have mine set to full HD 1920 by 1080. Frame rate of 60 FPS. And a frequency, I believe this is audio. I'm fairly certain it's audio, actually. Again, width, 1920, height, 1080, channel, stereo. Now, when you first open VSDC, these numbers will be different. You have to make these changes up front. For a very long period of time, when I first got this video editor, it was capable of 60 FPS at, 10, uh, at 1080, but I wasn't using it because I didn't pay attention to this screen. Make sure you do. Click Finish, and it opens this. This is your file sequence wizard. That's what it says up here. This puts your files in order. So if you've recorded something and then gone away and then recorded something else and then gone away, you would put the first here, the second here, and the third here. And these little boxes are for these lovely transitions that they've put in uh, to help you fade between them. So fade, you've got your fade out and you can see little examples of them over here. You can have them fade in a chess pattern and all sorts of different options for you here. And there are a ton of different options. I, on the other hand, like to do it a bit more manually. So cancel out of this without selecting anything. And you move into the main uh, process area, your main sort of desktop space for VSDC. So step one, go over here. Well, first off, step one, projects, save as project. Sky Wars with Rover is here. Save it. This is a project now. Now, if anything happens, you can always reopen your project. Import the video that you're going to use. Mine is in Videos Evolve OBS. And click here. This object position setting will pop up. Uh, normally, you can just select from cursor position because of the way that I'm going to show you later on how I actually edit this from cursor position is normally what you want but there are other options for other things as you can read there so click OK now the video is in first thing you need to know is that as soon as you move your cursor up onto the desktop area this happens I'm not clicking or holding down anything as soon as you enter a video into this sort of process window uh, into your your workspace let's call it workspace as soon as you enter a video into your workspace, it snaps it to the top left corner and glues the bottom right corner of your video to your mouse cursor. This will happen every single picture or video that you import, so make sure that you're paying attention to this. What I do is I just click and it comes off. Doesn't matter where you click because we're going to change it a different way. Because I know, because I said at the very beginning, that it was going to be 1920 by 1080, I know that this is 1920 wide, 1080 tall. So I'm gonna come over here to coordinates. My left coordinate is zero. My top coordinate is zero. My width will be 1920. And my height will be 1080. And then I hit enter and it snaps. Now this video is filling the whole screen, right? All right. Now we are ready to do our more in-depth sort of uh, processing and rendering and breaking it all down, all of our big editing moves. But I will show you how to do that one in the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you. And take care.